Hey guys, it's Christy with Zen 10 Lewis Tarot, and I just want to come to you really quick with this video of camping, so bear with me on the lighting and background noise and, I don't know, fire poking that I might have to do in the middle of the video. I'm going to try and get it out quickly. I've only got 13 minutes left on this video, I'm not sure why, so i got to clean up, apparently, my memory. Emperor! Hey! Hey, boss man. What you doing tonight? I don't know who this is, but this energy is about a boss. About somebody who takes charge. Somebody who's in control. Someone who... Businessman, CEO. Um, somebody who has her shit together, to be very honest. Is my radio too loud? I gotta turn that shit down. Hang on. Okay. So anyways, back to the story. So yeah, the emperor energy is boss energy. It's energy that um, somebody that takes charge of their life, someone who's in control, someone who likes to be in control. Like to be in control. Little hot, definitely. Um, divine masculine energy. Somebody who... Um, has that divine masculine energy looking for divine feminine energy. So, what can you tell me about the emperor? Could be dealing with, uh, I'm blanking. Aries. Aries, um, you could have Aries somewhere in your chart. Ooh, you're celebrating something though. Just celebrating. Celebrating something, trying to find the strength, or you have the strength of a lion to tame a lion. So, not, I'm drinking White Claw, so I don't drink very often, but I decided what the heck. I mean, I started a fire and everything, you know. Can you see it in the background? <laughs> Maybe. Look at that. Look at me starting fires. Look at me camping by myself. Last video, I was talking about how I hadn't done that in like almost three years, and here I am. So, I'm pretty excited about that. I'm tent camping. I'm like roughing it. And, quick tip, if you're gonna get a tent, you need, I don't know, something to lay on. I got something to lay on, but like, I should have started blowing that thing up at like 6 a.m., you know? And so, I ran out of time. And I was like, you know what, F it. I'm just going to throw her in the tent, you know, kind of like a, a little bit of a cushion, <laughs> even not blown up, and um, throw my blankets over it. So hopefully that's, <laughs> hopefully, I mean, I put it in the grass, so hopefully it'll be a little cozy, um, not too rough, on, like with roots or anything, like shoved in my back all night. I don't know. We'll see, I guess. Anyways, you're very excited about something, like a reunion, or um, this could talk about, like the Three of Cups talks about celebration. It could be, um, there will be bug swatting during this video. Heads up. Um, I got my off. I should probably use it, but I don't like that stuff. It's so full of chemicals and stuff, so I only use it if I absolutely have to, so I'm going to try not to use it. Lost the nail. So you're going to see that. Look at that baby. Looking like man hands going on. I mean, I lost that within the first five minutes trying to put up the five minute tent that took me like an hour and 15 minutes. So I'm a little um, disappointed in the advertisement of the five minute system because <laughs> it so wasn't. Oh my God, look at me rambling. Okay. So anyways, you're ready to celebrate something. It's like reconciliation um, energy. So could be um, reconnecting with old friends, could be um, celebrating uh, weddings, anniversaries, um, birthdays, parties. Usually the Three of Cups talks about a celebration party, a um, get together, a reunion with friends, um, a reunion with a loved one, like somebody, um, like a romantic connection. Um, but you're full of strength. Could be dealing with Leo energy. Um, clarify that three of cups. 
Oh. Oh, hey, All right. Wow. See how clarification will just flip the script. Okay. So here's what's going on. I got a divine masculine energy who in the past may have dealt with a lot of third party energy, a lot of um, inner like interference from friends, a lot of um, opinions of friends, a lot of hooking up with third parties, just saying, I mean, it could be, take it as it resonates, if it doesn't, just throw it right out the window, but like, um, thir um, Three of Cups can also talk about third parties, or um, uh, a third party interference in some way, and so, um, but you're taking charge of your life, and you're realizing that this Three of Cups, um, you've learned your lesson about that, like, you're coming into your divine masculine energy, which means that you're cutting out third parties. You've learned the lesson. You have um, graduated on to like divinity, real life, <laughs> like taking charge, doing your shit. Um, but yeah, the world is is learned lessons. It's um, moving on. It's moving forward from old patterns of behavior or old uh, karmic lessons that you had to learn. You had to go through them. So it's not like, ooh, it's a mistake and like, I can't fix it. No, it's like, um, this is, it was put there for a purpose by the divine because you're now in your divine masculine energy. And this, you know, just because it's the emperor, this could be female energy as well. You know, you could be embodying your masculine energy and whatever it is, you're in your divine energy. I thought I heard wildlife. I gotta be on guard. I got my flashlight just in case. There's a lot of raccoons around here, which are super cute and cuddly, but I don't want them close, you know? I wanna look at them from like, you know, a good distance. I don't want them sneaking up on me. So anyways, you've learned that lesson. And so what happens when you learn that lesson is you actually ascend into a higher level, a better, better um, a more divine version of yourself, you know, learning the lessons that showed you maybe possibly um, clarify the world. What did you learn? What lesson did you learn in that? <laughs> clarify the world. Clarify the world. Clarify the world. Yeah. <sighs> Empress came out for that, which means that um, you may have, yeah, you may have found that in order to find a divine feminine, you actually have to be a divine masculine. You can't attract a divine feminine if you're not in your divine masculine energy. And what does that entail? Well, a whole hell of a lot, to be honest. <laughs> it's like, um, being the best version of yourself, being in a high vibration, um, cutting out low vibrational beings from your surroundings, you know, you're no longer the player, you're no longer the person who has third parties or fourth parties or fifth parties or whatever, you know, it's like you realize and recognize that in order to get somebody to be um, a counterpart to you, you have to actually embody what it is that you desire and it seems like you desire a divine feminine. Um, divine feminines we don't we don't deal in third parties we don't do that you know it's like it's like have three four or five people but you won't have me as well you know like that's the divine feminine energy it's like you have a choice and you can choose to be with three four or five other people <laughs> but they all don't equal me you know what I mean and it, and that's that's what a divine person is and so you're embodying your divine masculine energy which means that you wouldn't take a female or a male or whatever who has third parties either and you've learned that lesson the hard way it seems like karmic lessons are never ever easy you know it's like um you usually get trampled on in that process in some way and that's how you ascend into a higher level of yourself um, but yeah, you're passionate, you know, you're passionate about something. 
could be um, a business idea, could be um, a person, could be a career move, could be um, a job, whatever it is, it's like you're going within and it's like you've set your sights on something and you know that the only thing left to do is to wait for your ships to sell in. It's like you've planted the seeds of goodness you know um, what you're looking for and what you um, are not looking for and now it's just a waiting game until you find your person, your counterpart, you know, somebody who matches that energy and um, yeah, you're like, got all this momentum within you and it's like, you're gonna go after it. It's like, whatever it is, you have every idea you have the passion you have the momentum built up within you to just like go after it you know what i mean and um you're somebody stable committed um somebody who is humble somebody who has their shit together but like it's 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 not in a way to be flashy it's in a way to like be humble and say like i worked for this you know like i worked hard and i'm not above work in order to get the things that I want. And I'm not above putting in effort in matching energy of those who deserve my kind of stability and my kind of um, commitment to someone or to anything. You know, my commitment in business, my commitment in, um, in my job, in my um, ethics, in my morals, whatever it is, it's like um, you're stable, you're a committed person to whatever it is that you go after whatever you're passionate about and um clarify the chariot where are you going you just like got all this momentum and you just want to take off <laughs> and go ooh got a soulmate two of cups that's like your perfect match like shit did you see that thing dive bomb my eyes I mean it did it was a moth I think I got all these candles going, so of course, moth to a flame, just saying. And two of cups, soulmate, talk about moth to a flame, this is like looking in the mirror and seeing you, you know? Two of cups is mutual feelings, it's like somebody shares the same feelings that you have for them, they share them, it's not, it's not a one-sided thing, it's mutual, it's equal give and take, it's balance, it's like the yin and the yang, it's like everything that's dark within you your person lights up and everything that's light within you lightens up their dark or whatever you know what i'm saying it's like equal balanced energy it's um it's like somebody um who you could be like on a 10 like say maybe you're somebody who angers easily you could be on a 10 and this person just makes you breathe out you know what I mean it's just their energy is something that balances you and when you're in their presence it's almost like you feel like home because whatever it is within you balances out whatever it is within them and so it's an, it's like a perfect